Travelling in a large truck in the northeastern state of Borno. A Nigerian senator has told the BBC that it's been found abandoned. It's thought the girls are being forced to trek through the Sambisa Forest Reserve, which is a stronghold of Boko Haram. Well, I'm joined now by Alio Tanko from the BBC's House of Service for more on this situation and exactly who Boko Haram is. So, Alio, if you can just uh, give us a sense of, you know, who Boko Haram is and are they intensifying their operations at the moment? Well, Boko Haram is, an, is a house of word and it means in English Western education is a sin. Um, Boko Haram have been intensifying their campaign over the last two years in Nigeria. But recently, especially this year, uh, the attack they have been carried out was uh, were massive attacks. They have killed over 1,500 from the beginning of the year to date. And um, of course, from the look of things, uh, Boko Haram are having edge over Nigerian military power personnel that uh, have been operating in Borno, Yobe and Adamawa State that were under emergency rule since last year. So one can rightly say that um, Boko Haram members are getting stronger and stronger by the day. And you say uh, that Boko Haram uh, in Hausa means uh, Western education is a sin. Yeah. Do you think that perhaps these girls were specifically targeted because they were going to school? Yes, that was the target because um, they did. Uh, after burning down the whole village of uh, or town of uh, Chibok uh, on Monday night, they decided to abduct these girls. Uh, we could recall that uh, in February they attacked a boarding school in neighboring Yobe State, that's Federal Government College Buniyadi. They killed about 23 boys and warned the girls that they should forget about going to school, let them go back home and get married. So, and um, they warned them that the next time we come and uh, you're still here, we could take action against you. That forced the government to shut down federal government colleges in three northern, northeastern states. And um, the Borno state government on its own part shut down around 70 to 80 secondary school. But um, I think the school in Chibok is among the few schools that are still operating having handful of students like um, these girls that were abducted are final year students 16 to 18 years of age just trying to round up secondary education before uh, maybe the school is uh, shut down it's a horrifying situation for them